Hey what's going on guys my name is Jim Fahad in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this beautiful creative team member section using Elementor page builder. So here initially we can see only the team members image and when you hover over on it we can see here member details like their name, title and all social media links. They are sliding in within this beautiful glass effect. So without further ado let's now go inside Elementor page builder. To take a new section let's click on this red plus icon and here I'm taking this three column structure. First let's give it a height so I'm setting it minimum height and let's give the height in VH. I'm giving it 100 VH. Now first let's select this middle column because I want to add some padding with this column. Go under its advanced tab. From here I'm adding 30 pixel of padding with this column. Now let's click on this plus icon because here I'm dragging an inner section. And first I want to delete one of these inner columns. So right now this inner section has only one column. Okay, now with this inner section first I want to make its height to minimum height and let's set the minimum height to 450 pixel. Now from here vertical align I'm making it to bottom and also let's make the overflow to hidden. Then go under the style tab because I want to add a background image from here. Click on this classic pencil icon. From here I'm selecting a background image. Let's select this team members image. Now click on insert media. Then from here position let's set it to top center. Attachment to scroll. Repeat to no repeat. And size let's make it cover. And then I want to make their corners rounded. So to do it from here open the border. And here I'm adding 12 pixel of border radius with it. Then let's add some box shadow with it. So click on this pencil icon. From here I'm adding the vertical value to 22. And then the blur value to 40. And the spread value I'm adding negative 10. Alright now within this inner column I want to add some element. So first click on this plus icon. Here I'm dragging a heading widget. So now I wanted to say the name of the team member. I wanted to say Daniel Dino. Now let's make the alignment to centered. Go under the style tab. First I'm making the text color to white color. Then let's do a bit typography from here. So first I'm making the font size to 22 pixel. Font weight to 500. Transform I want to make it all uppercase. And then letter spacing. Let's make it 1.2. Now I want to take another heading so you know we can just simply duplicate it and then I want it to say for example web designer. Okay now go under the style tab from here I'm changing the typography a little bit. So here I'm making the font size to 15 pixel and transform instead of uppercase I'm making it to default capitalize. And you see there is a huge space in between these two headings so I want to reduce it. That's why go under advanced tab from here unbind the margin and only at the top I'm adding negative 15 pixel. Alright now click on this Rubik's cube icon because here underneath I want to add some social media icons. Now here I'm searching for social icons. Here we go. Let's just drag it underneath our second heading here. Oops it goes above the second heading so let's just drag this second heading at the top of the social icons here. Alright let's now select the social icons. First go under its style tab here instead of the official color I'm setting the custom color. Now the primary color I'm making the primary color to transparent. And then let's make the padding to 0.3. And here I also want to adjust the margin. Go under advanced tab, unbind the margin. At the top let's add negative 15 pixel of margin and at the bottom I'm adding 20 pixel of margin. Alright we are pretty much done. Let's now select this inner column not the outer column. So here I'm selecting this inner column. First I want to give it a background color. So go under the style tab from here background type click on the classic icon. First I'm making the background color to pure white color and then let's make it transparent by dragging the bottom bar to the left. I want to make it really very transparent like this. It gives us a little bit glass effect vibe but it's not looking real glass effect. So to do that we need to add some custom CSS with it. But before that we need to add a class with this inner column. So go under the inner columns advanced tab. From here we will be adding the class name. 
and the class name will be member dash info remember you need to write exactly this name member dash info otherwise it won't work all right after writing the class name you need to select this inner section so select the inner section go under its advanced tab from here open the custom css field by the way custom css is only available on elementor pro i will put my elementor pro affiliate link in the description if you purchase elementor pro through my affiliate link you don't have to pay any extra but i will get a little credit for that that will help me to continue this youtube channel and make more interesting tutorials like this all right, now to get the CSS snippet, we just need to go inside jimfahaddigital.com. I will put this pages link in the description. From that page, if you scroll down here, you see glass effect CSS. Just copy this CSS snippet from here, go inside Elementor, and then paste the CSS snippet inside this custom CSS field. And here we go. Now here, you don't need to change any of these values. If you want, you can just change the height like you may have more contents like you may have some paragraph or other content so on that case if you want to increase the height of this glass effect portion then you can do that from here so you see it says height let's say instead of 150 you want to make it 200 so you can make it 200 pixel from here and remember you need to do another thing if you make the height 200 pixel then here you also need to put the same negative value at the bottom so if you make the height to 200 pixel you need to make the bottom value to negative 200 pixel like this also if you make the height to let's say 400 then you need to make the bottom value to negative 400 pixel all right but instead of 400 i'm making it 150 pixel also here the bottom value to negative 150 pixel now i wanna add the hide and show effect so let's go to jimfahaddigital.com again from here if you scroll down here you can see hover hide or show css just copy this snippet from here go inside elementor now right after our existing snippet just hit enter a couple more time to make some space and then here i'm pasting the css snippet so now here we cannot see any other information initially we can only see the members image and when we hover over on it we can see the beautiful glass effect having the name title and social media icons awesome now if we want to add more team members then you know we can just simply duplicate the outer column so hover over on outer column let's duplicate it and here i'm duplicating it one more time and i'm removing the empty column from left also let's delete the empty column from right so first from the left i want to change this background image so to do it first select the inner section go under its style tab from here let's change this background image with another image so i'm selecting this image click on insert media here we go also if you want you can change this name to any other name for example i'm typing here member a then let's change this name with member b also let's change this member image so go under style tab from here i'm selecting this image for the third member all right so far everything is looking great now i just want to check how it's looking on mobile device and tablet device so to check its responsiveness from here click on this responsive mode icon now let's go to the tablet device so on the tablet device everything is looking great but i think we can reduce the padding of the column on tablet device so let's select the outer column go under advanced tab on the tablet device i'm making the padding to 10 and now we can just duplicate not duplicate we can just paste the style so right click here copy it then right click on this column then click on paste style let's do the same with this column right click and click on paste style so now on the tablet device they are looking great now let's go to the mobile device on mobile device we can again increase the columns padding so let's select the column here again we can make the padding to 30 for mobile device now right click here copy it with the second team member right click click on paste style now scroll down with the third one right click on the column then click on paste style so they are looking great on mobile device and also they are looking great on the tablet device 
and on desktop they are already looking great so let's close the responsive bar from top and when you are happy with it don't forget to click on this green update button to save your work i hope you have learned something new today if you like it please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel also press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever i will upload a new video on this youtube channel also, if you want me to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project, then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com. I will try my best to help you personally. Once again, thank you so much for watching this full tutorial. I will see you in the next video. For now, bye-bye.